Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Fallout 76 Let's Talk video. Today we're going to be covering the patch number nine, which arrived. And honestly, I feel as if it's Christmas. <laughs> First of all, there's a lot of cool stuff at the Atom Shop. Well, not a lot, just that Raider and some paints for the guns and, and the backpack and and. Actually, there's a lot. <laughs> and uh, on top of everything else, there are a lot of cool uh, updates, and we're gonna cover them right now. And before we jump on board, you know, I wasn't actually that wrong. Check this out. This morning, I updated the Atom Shop video, and I accidentally mis like misworded myself, and I called this thing Slot Machine. Check this out. <laughs> Slap machine. <laughs> Alright, so let's stop wasting any more time and take a look at the updates. Alright, so let's take a look. Fallout 76, why Appalachia? Patch, patch number 9, notes May 7, 2019. So let's take a look at the patch highlights. Uh, ever Words, join the Pioneer Scout, complete the new challenges, events, and so on and so forth, uh, and get your first backpack. Uh, plus backpacks, essentially. Equip backpack, increase your curry weight. Thank you. I actually didn't see this coming. I thought it was going to take some more time for them to deliver this. Dude, I'm not always that I have so much time to uh, dive into notes and everything. Uh, but the these two points I will cover in another video where I'm going to make a play... Um, a walkthrough. This is gonna be my first walkthrough video, so I hope it's gonna work out. I, I do have a couple ideas on how I'm gonna do it, but I hope it's gonna work out. But uh, we have the personal vending machines, which I'm gonna cover in this video, that's for sure. That's the ones you build in your camp, and you can also identify where your camp location is and what you're selling. I'll go into that details a little bit more, because right now I'm loaded with legendaries, and we're gonna scrap some legendaries and cover the legendary exchange machines. Uh, pretty much at any uh, train station you can uh, scrap all of your unwanted legendary items uh, into legendary script which later on you will use uh, to buy legendary weapons or armor from the legendary vendor which is coming to us, uh, to us on May 16th which I find really interesting because May 16th is uh, Thursday usually they do updates on Tuesdays <laughs> And a whole bunch of other changes, including the implement new PvP rules, damage player. You see, the thing is, I don't play a lot in ad adventure mode. I do have this link in the video description, and I'll have it pinned in the top comment. Actually, you know what? I'll just keep it in the video description, so you can access this and read it through in more details. Okay, so let us start off with the legendary exchange machines. There we go. So there's the exchange machines have been added to all the train stations as I already mentioned that allows you to uh, scrap unwanted uh, legendaries and so on. So that you will use in order to buy the uh, legendary weapons and so on on May 16th will, which will be delivered to us. Uh, so the higher your star rating your uh, of your legendary item the more script you will receive from exchange. Uh, exchange machines. I actually have one stars, two stars, and three stars. So we can take a look on uh, right now uh, how much actual script we actually get. By the way, there's also a limit, turns out. <laughs> we'll get into that in a moment. So uh, legendary script cannot be traded and it is not shared across characters on your account. Okay, I find that actually pretty useful. Uh, since I'm a sort of a player who likes to keep just one character, this is pretty cool. Uh, you can't, tr uh, well, it makes sense that you can't transfer, you can't sell those. So, yeah, I think that is that is a good idea that they made that you can't buy it from other players and you can't sell it to other players. There's a lot of reasons why it's a really big topic. If I get onto it right now, then this video will turn out to be maybe for 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes long. So if you want me to cover uh, this point here in more details, I can make a new Let's Talk vi uh, follow video in a few days and discussing this topic right here. So let me know down in the comments if you'd like for me to cover this. Now let's jump to the scrapping machine and see what is it all about. Alright, it's morning! We were doing night and some dude is already scrapping legendaries. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you end up in this situation, you will not... The hell? Oh, he probably ended. Actually, you cannot scrap 
uh, legendaries while someone is already scrapping it. And by the way, check this out. They actually uh, made the icon uh, in such a way. Yeah, you see, he can't scrap those legendaries. They made the star icons look pretty cooler. Alright, so uh, let's start with uh, a two-star flamethrower will give us 15 of the legendary scraps there we go there we go we can see there's a limit of 150 meaning i believe this should reset like with vendors right so like cat limit this we have this legendary script limit and uh so the two star if we scrap the two star we will we'll get 15 if we scrap one star we'll get five and if we will scrap three star I should be having somewhere right here oh uh, there we go we get 40 <laughs> well you know what the three stars I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna try to sell it on market 76 anybody wanna buy this baby right here Ooh, whoops what did I do I did the mistake one second I actually wanted to click on the spectate thing uh, alright you know what let's not waste any time alright let's take a look on the armor does the price work same? No, it doesn't. So you get three for one star. You get two. Oh, you get nine for two stars, and you get how much do you get for three? Ah, oh, there we go. Three. Twenty-four for a three star. All right, seems seems to be cool. Why not? All right, let's try and and I'm gonna keep the assassins ones. Let's try and s scrap some. I wonder what happens. Oh, so you can actually, uh huh? If you scrapped it, you can get it back. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So if you have scrapped something by mistake, let's try to get it back just to see how it works. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, cool. So if you scrap something by mistake, you can still get it back. Okay, that is that is very very nice. And thank God that they did not increase the price for it for you to return it back, right? So let's go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff. I've been grinding this for a few hours per day. Oh, hold on. What is that? Ah, cloaking. Okay. That's... Alright. Alright, so now let's talk about player vendoring. But before we jump into this, I'd like to show you something in the Pip Boy. If you go to stats, there is a new uh, field that we have, a section, let's call it. So it can show you the amount of caps you currently own, then some bandages. I believe that has to do with that other event that I'm not going to cover in this video because uh, I want to make a playthrough for it. It's a Pioneer or whatever it's called. And the legendary scripts. So that's where you can see how many scripts. Rips, uh, you will actually have so that's pretty cool it took me some time to find it I, I, I thought it was somewhere you know in notes or misc or whatever because you know I kind of like log in and I see you know it will be smart for them to have it here but uh, I guess uh, programmatically it was hard to do or I don't know so they sort of decided to put it uh, create one more section where we can see all of the currencies that we've earned and I'm in very interested what are these bandages for and what we can do with them so this is definitely I'm gonna cover in another video as soon as I figure out how it's done alright so let's get back to the vendoring machine so in order to build the machine uh, you'll need to come to your camp essentially and you will have one more section called vendors so once you have it by the way I'm really curious can you build like two I mean there's oh no yeah you can you can build four options as we can see over there Oh, ah, yeah, that, that's the the Atom Shop versions. <laughs> Interesting. We got goods, mega sale, the best deals here. <laughs> sale here, caps only. <laughs> All right, cool. So we have four different options. So uh, I believe only one person can, uh, in, like, if you have more than one person in your camp, right? He can only one person at a time can use the machine. Uh, theory not sure so afterwards we can see that I already t uh, placed something for sale so bam here we are uh, we can use the toggle thing to uh, sort of show what we can sell and uh, as you can see we can sell pretty much anything so starting from 
legendary weapons, gear, and stuff. Uh, let us just tr give it a try. So, for example, if I want to sell this, and let's just, I don't know, put a, I don't know, freaking <laughs> 11,000, man. That's what, how much I want. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's see the trigger thing, if it works or not. Uh, show marked only. Aha, uh -huh. okay, hold on a second. If we go back to the entire inventory, there we see everything. Here, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to have your very close attention because this is pretty important. I did not see them stating anywhere. I actually me I mentioned that this might gonna be a problem uh, later on. And actually, it can cause uh, a problem that you will sell an item, but you will not get money for it. Uh, what I mean is the cat limit. Oh no, wait, I think I have an ah. Items can be sold after you reach the current maximum cap balance of 200, but you will not receive any caps beyond the limit. Aha! So you see, I was pretty much right. I actually didn't read this. I sort of just bam, jumped in and so on. So you, we can, we already covered the, um, you can build the machines. Uh, you will need to power them up. It takes three. Actually, actually, I just noticed that <laughs> once we were checking out the other options. You can put up to 30 individual stacks, meaning 30 different items. And uh, we'll see what else we can sell. Um, I believe plants we can sell as well, which is pretty cool. A sign from your rendering machine set the cap price you'd like to sell for. Uh, items you assign for rendering will not be removed from your stash. Instead, they will display an icon next to the names so it's easy to tell what you have placed for sale. Okay, that's that badge over there. Uh, this badge over here, right? So if we, for example, remove the filter, <clears throat> we see all of our items. This is probably what we have in the stash. And I think so it is. Yeah, it is. This is what we have in the st This is what I have in the stash. This is what I have in my inventory. And by the way, if you, if I, for example, decide that I don't want to sell my... Uh, uh, that armor over there right what's gonna happen is it will end up in my inventory and not in the stash I already tested it out before I started recording this video alright so let's continue uh, you will receive a notification whenever a player buys one of your items 90% of the sale price will be added to your cap balance uh, this 10% fee okay basically if you sell something for a hundred uh, caps you will receive 90 caps and 10 and 10 caps will be just vanishing uh, for the expenses of using the machine so basically they go into uh, keeping our economy balance safe <laughs> uh, okay alternatively you can use map to seek other pl other traders who have set up set up sh a shop when you're looking to purchase new gear for your collection okay that's cool so that's pretty much on the map well, I've shown this before so there was a, where the hell did he go there was a player over here okay let's go visit this guy so this guy is selling an armor let's go check out what he's selling so uh, fast traveling please wait huh so, excuse me okay I guess this is another update that they've added uh, now we don't fast travel just like that we need to wait 15 seconds I believe that is so written somewhere in the patch notes <laughs> alright so we finally fast travel to this player right here which he has actually an amazing camp and uh, it's uh, insane a really good idea he sort of placed the uh, uh, in such a way that uh, he gets to have all of these items uh, basically this probably was a building and he just made some add-ons to the actual house which is really cool idea by the way I must say and it really really I mean I love it alright so there is the vendoring machine right so here we go shop what the hell did I just get under attack no I'm just playing on a muted version, so I uh, can't. Uh huh, so there we go. For 300 uh, caps, he's selling this uh, armor right here. That is pretty cool. So, uh, man. Man, 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 man. Alright, so. Important notice. I'm not sure if I covered it. I'm just so super excited about all this. So, about the caps. Make sure that you're selling it in such a way that you don't end up uh, going over your budget. So, for example, if you have 24,000 
999 uh, caps you might want to spend some caps before you put something on sale and same thing do a little bit of mathematics so for example if you know you got 15,000 ca caps on you make sure when you sell you're not uh, overselling like more than 10,000 uh, caps otherwise for example if you have placed uh, for sale uh, let's say for example 20,000 uh, caps right and you already have 15 meaning if somebody comes and buys everything from you you will get your 10,000 uh, caps and the other 10,000 you will lose <laughs> so yeah uh, I was actually hoping that they would remove the stupid cap limit uh, with this but they didn't unfortunately all right so let's see what else we've got if I haven't missed anything oh actually you know what let's go tra uh, travel to this that guy right there and actually buy something from a player I just want to see how it's all gonna work all right so we just arrived to another player and there is someone already standing here and using the trade machine let me see if I can use it nope I cannot use it <laughs> so you see my theory was right only one user per um, trading spot I guess we're gonna have to wait until this guy uh, stop come on man yo bro I'm doing a video how you doing by the way really good looking armor thank you aha you see I was right holy smokes man check this out Ooh, a soldier on hand for six oh nice yo here we go nice so basically yeah it works just uh, like a regular barbs sheep squatch staff nice that is so cool basic oh dude I feel sorry that I already spent what the hell that I've uh, well actually I don't feel sorry I gave away a lot of uh, different um, plans to everybody so this is freaking amazing look at that this guy just made money out of me no problem that is super cool by the way what happens if I wanna nah <laughs> I thought man you know you can sell some anyway that is cool so bam 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 there we go and I just got myself plans that I didn't have which makes my life way a lot easier oh dude I love this update man I'm telling you it feels like freaking Christmas right now to me man that is so cool so I just learned a whole bunch of new freaking oh dude who else is selling what there's a, you can see a lot of people oh 83 plans let's go check it out oh all right this is the other guy who's selling a whole bunch of other stuff a lot of uh, plants over here as we can see I don't even have them all I ha don't have this pie hey come on he was selling way way more sort uh-huh okay lol here you go I <laughs> just encountered a bug <laughs> uh, sort so yeah uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong no I'm not doing anything wrong what if I inspect no I can't Wait, let me try to do this again. Initiate this thing again. Yeah, you see? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, whatever. Thirteen, fourteen items. And uh, I can't view anymore. It doesn't go down. And it shows on the map icon that he is selling. The hell is going on? Did I just teleport to the wrong guy? Lol. Okay, let's go to that guy. Maybe maybe there's something wrong. Oh man, here we are. Check this guy out, man. Oh my god, this is a really good looking camp. Dude, that is insane. There's the machine. By the way, let's just double check. What the hell? I just saw a whole bunch of s plants over there. What is going on? Okay. I have no idea what just happened so guys if you've encountered this issue uh, like basically do you see all of the items over here if you scroll all the way down right or not because I don't I mean I can't I can't comment this now but at least we got to take a look on 
who's what, when what. Or maybe he took it off off sale. I mean, there were 80 plants, weren't they? Or I don't believe that while I was loading, some dude was bam and bought everything. There's eight plants, and that's it. Where, where? Come on, guys. Nobody build this thing. I don't believe it. One armor. Oh man. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's my camera right there. Let me get the hell out of here. All right, and let's take a look on other patch notes that we have here. So uh, this is what I found useful as well. It's uh, death mechanics. Cap losses on death in survival data are now based on the player's current level will not exceed 50 caps. To my understanding now, if you're like level 500, uh, you will lose only 50 caps. So that is the top amount of caps you can lose. I think. I don't... I'm not... I hope I understood this correctly. And uh, pretty much a lot of bug fixes, as we can see here. A whole bunch of it. I'm not going to cover it all, otherwise I'll sit here the whole night covering them all. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to have the link down below in the video description. <coughs> apologies for that. So, the Pioneer Scout uh, quest, I'm going to do a separate video on that. And the backpacks explanation as well. By the way, in, ba in terms of backpacks, in the Atom Shop, we have uh, skins already available for the backpack. I wonder how is, it, how is the backpack going to look without the skin. And then we'll see how it's going. So then we got design and balances, uh, ammo, uh, legendary effects, essential, uh, legendary effects now have a 75 chance to apply during combat. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to look through this. Loot, look, the legendary drop rates for Gatling can really have been adjusted and better much on our weapons now. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we can keep reading through. The Bureau of Tourism, haha, <laughs> survival beta, bug fixes, bug fixes. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, folks, I hope you found the video useful, and if you did, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below what you think about all this DLC update. Are you enjoying it? And uh, your overall, I just want to hear your thoughts on it. And in regards to the caps, limits, guys, when you're selling, be careful, alright? You don't want to end up selling something and then it's like, man, I just lost all my, like that much amount of caps. I know pretty much, I'm pretty sure that that's going to happen eventually. There's going to be a lot of fuzz about it on, the, on YouTube. But you know there's nothing we can do about it but anyway guys i really want to know your thoughts so please do comment down below and i hope you enjoyed it you have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock in at and i'll see you on the next video bye and by the way if you subscribe welcome to z clan